Dallas Mayor Mike Rawlings calls it the number one priority the city is facing. Hi everybody, Steve Eager. It's 9 o'clock. Joined by the city manager and T-Mobile executives, the mayor promised a resolution to this so-called ghost call glitch that's resulting in call spikes and callers placed on hold. T-Mobile technicians and those top execs are in, in town to try to find a fix. The fix may be too late, though, for a Dallas Voice reporter who says he lost his husband after claiming he was on hold with 911 for nearly half an hour. Or the mother of a six-month-old boy who died after his babysitter tried calling 911 several times over the weekend. Alex Boyer, live tonight at Dallas City Hall with more on the city's plans and the concerns here, too. Alex. Steve, the, the mayor says right now the city is in the process of training additional officers and even staff members to be able to handle those 911 calls. The goal is to relieve many of the call takers and decrease the overall call load. But unfortunately, it doesn't seem that right now T-Mobile is able to pinpoint the exact cause of these ghost calls, which means that a long-term solution could take some time. Meanwhile, as you can imagine, many Many Texans are growing impatient. I'm talking about my husband died a week ago Monday. How many others died? Local newspaper reporter David Taffet sharing his personal experience with Dallas's 911 system during a news conference with the mayor, city manager, and high ranking executives from T Mobile here to try and fix the problem. And, and I want to make sure that you understand you're saying. Uh, keep your phone open. My phone was down here. I was doing chest compressions on my husband and um, and the call just dropped. I had to call back. So don't hang up. I didn't hang up. Taffet's husband, Brian Cross, stopped breathing on March 6th during another spike in so-called ghost calls. Oh, I'm pounding on his chest. I'm screaming at the phone uh, and there was nothing I could do. Taffet, who doesn't have a T-Mobile phone, says he had to call 911 twice. The second time he got through after 20 minutes on hold. Somebody died and we don't know whether it was as a result of the delay from 911. T-Mobile techs are in town promising to fix the problem with their service that was first reported in October of last year. The volume and the level of call spikes here in Dallas is unique for us at this point in time. The mobile network is placing multiple 911 hang up calls after a legitimate 911 call is made. Officials say the ghost calls are tying up lines and potentially delaying responses to those in need. I don't understand why. Why was she on hold? Why didn't y'all call her back? Why didn't she get anyone? Bridget Alex's six month old son Brandon died on Saturday after her best friend, who was babysitting the boy, found him unconscious and called 911 three times after 31 minutes on hold the babysitter still couldn't get through why my son had to be the example why do i have to be the one who stand up and talk for everyone this is not what i want to do i want to be at home playing with my son i want my son in my arms but at the end of the day he's gone and nothing can bring him back mayor mike rawlings promised answers to both alex and taffet mourning the sudden loss of their loved ones i talked to her and I said, I, my heart is broken for the loss of a loved one, and I'm sorry for you as well. And we're gonna get, we're gonna get to the bottom of this. And I promised her that, and I promise you this. Alex tells me she ended up driving her son to the hospital since no one at 911, she says, ever picked up the call from the babysitter. Now, that night, that Saturday night, the city manager says that the 911 call center received over 400 calls. The city manager says that is the most so-called ghost calls they have received since this incident was reported last year. I should note that AT&T, which is the city's network provider, has confirmed that the city's 911 infrastructure is not part of the problem. Steve. Okay, Alex Boyer at City Hall tonight. Thank you.